Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss Ethiopia and Eritrea border dispute. You must have heard that recently uh, a border was opened between both countries after 20 years. Why it took 20 years to resolve that conflict? How it developed? What is the background of that conflict? How can it affect the people in that area? What are other related developments? We are going to cover these developments in this lecture. So before we proceed any further, uh, it is appropriate to learn about Ethiopia because Eritrea was uh, carved out of, rather Eritrea ceded from Ethiopia. Eritrea won her freedom from Ethiopia some uh, 25 years back. It will be helpful to understand Ethiopia, to understand Eritrea and the issues between both countries. These are the flags of two countries. Above is Ethiopia's flag, below that is Eritrea's flag. This is the geographical location of uh, Ethiopia and Eritrea. Ethiopia has been uh, highlighted. You can see uh, Addis Ababa in the center and you can also see upward Eritrea that is blocking the way of Addis Ababa to the sea, Red Sea. As you can see from the, this map, uh, Ethiopia is a landlocked country. From one side is bordered by Eritrea, on the other by Djibouti, a small country you can see between Somalia and Eritrea. And in eastward it is uh, blocked by Somalia, then Kenya, Sudan. So it's a landlocked country. It's a very interesting country for you people to learn. Its capital is Addis Ababa. It's a federal republic. Uh, current president is Molato Shom. Current prime minister Abiy Ahmed. Form of government is federal state. There are four official languages. It's a member of African Union. African Union is the organization, regional organization of uh, African countries, then there are some other basic statistics uh, about Ethiopia, interesting statistics. Its population is 101 million as per 2017 estimates. Uh, you can see this half of Pakistan almost and its GDP is 220 billion dollars as per 2017. Uh, estimates it's very interesting if you compare it with Pakistan then it is uh, short by 100 billion only Pakistan's GDP is estimated to be around 320 billion dollar so comparing comparing things help you learn uh, more quickly so keep on comparing different facts GDP per capita in Ethiopia is uh, 22 uh, 129 it's very interesting uh, Pakistan's GDP per capita as per 2016, 27, 2016 estimates is $1468 per capita. So it's per, GDP per capita is more than Pakistan. GDP growth is also more than Pakistan is 7.6%. Inflation rate is in double digits. That's uh, not so in Pakistan. 13.4 is as per latest estimates of August. Its military expenditure is $497 million as per 2017, uh, 2017 estimates. Compared to its total annual budget outlay, uh, $500 million is not that much big amount. If you see in Pakistan, uh, Pakistan's total budget outlay is around uh, $50 billion and out of that uh, 14 billion dollar is our military budget that's way high than this country this human development index is uh, cutting sorry figure is 174 in fact uh, ethiopia is the second most poorest country in the world and so fdi that is uh, foreign direct investment recorded for the year 2017 is 4.7 billion us dollars it is interesting to know that uh, 
in contrast to Ethiopia, Pakistan's federal uh, foreign direct investment was 2.7 billion dollars in the last uh, financial year. There are many things to learn from external debt of Ethiopia is 13 billion, 30 billion dollar as per 2018 estimates. Its main export partners are Switzerland, China, United States, Netherlands and Saudi Arabia. Percentages have been given and Ethiopia exports a total of 3.1 billion dollar to these countries. Its main import partners are China, India, Kuwait, Italy, UAE, Japan and Turkey and it imports uh, 70.9 billion dollar from these countries import the difference between import and export is very high the, this country must be suffering huge budget deficit life expectancy in Ethiopia has improved over years it's 64 years uh, as per 2015 estimates uh, Pakistan is Pakistan is slightly better on this count as Pakistan's uh, life expect, expectancy in Pakistan is 66 years as per 2015 uh, estimates. The total area of uh, Ethiopia is more than Pakistan. Pakistan's total area is perhaps 7 lakh 96,000 and you can see the total area of uh, Ethiopia is larger than Pakistan in, in when seen from the perspective of land it is located on. It shares borders as we already discussed. Its natural resources are gold, platinum, copper, potash and for 40 to 45 percent of its economy is dependent on agriculture, coffee, leather, gold, oil seed and flowers are the main agriculture products. Industries are very limited and uh, there are food processing industries, beverage, textile, leather, small their industries. Uh, there is an interesting fact about Ethiopia with respect to industries. In recent Saudi purge of corruption, a uh, famous Ethiopian a billionaire was arrested and he hasn't been released yet. His name is Mohammed Hussain Al Amodi. Uh, Ethiopia has, has uh, insisted on his release as he has large investments across Ethiopia and he can be of great help to Ethiopia in hours of difficulty. Come to the historical uh, background of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is the only African nation that wasn't colonized by any colonial power. It was only during World War II that re occupied uh, Ethiopia in 1936 the occupation was over in 1941 so it wasn't colonized by the Italian even they occupied it but they couldn't establish a farm control over Ethiopia and they had to leave, leave it ultimately so it was being ruled at that time by Halle Selassie uh, he came to the throne of Ethiopia in 1916 and remained there un until 1974 until ousted by military uh, regime, a committee of military. That military committee ruled from 1974 uh, to 1991 when it was toppled by a politician named as Malizi Zinavi who served as uh, um, Ethiopia's Prime Minister uh, from 1995 to 2012. He was uh, 13th uh, Prime Minister of uh, Ethiopia, I believe. Eritrea was part of Ethiopia. Eritrea has, was uh, part of Ethiopia when it was occupied by Italy in uh, World War II, but uh, it had sort of autonomy. After uh, World War II, United Nations recognized Eritrea as a federating unit of uh, Ethiopia. Therefore, uh, they continued to be with uh, Ethiopia. But later on, the autonomy of Eritrea was uh, disturbed by Ethiopians, and that ultimately resulted into a power struggle. It, there were guerrilla warfare, and there were uh, rebels in Eritrea who wanted to cede from. Ethiopia and ultimately they managed to do it in 1993. 
so earlier it was part of Ethiopia both are Christian countries both are heavily Christian countries like in uh, Eritrea is almost 60 percent Christians and similarly in Ethiopia there are 60 percent Christian Kenya Ethiopia uh, and Eritrea is these are uh, Christian countries in a series so how uh, this conflict between Eritrea and Ethiopia erupted. You know, uh, the countries who had a shared past usually over the, the course of time uh, they had developed uh, border disputes and disputes of distribution of resources. Eritrea ceded from Ethiopia and there was a place called Badami, Badmi. And this over this place, uh, Ethiopia has her claim, and Eritrea was of the view that it belongs to Eritrea. Ultimately, a war broke out in 1998 that continued for three years, and almost 80,000 people were killed in this war. This was the most uh, bloodiest conflict at the end of uh, 20th century and the beginning of 21st century. It ended in. 2000 with Algiers agreement in which a boundary commission was agreed upon which was to decide the status of Badmi and boundary line between both countries. Both countries agreed to accept the decision of the tribunal as final. Uh, in 2002 the commission decided in favor of Eritrea. Uh, first uh, as a first reaction, Ethiopia accepted these uh, recommendations, but later on, Ethiopia somehow insisted for the renegotiation and the conflict continued to linger on. In Eritrea kept on insisting on its implementation, so the situation remained uh, in a limbo. This is uh, the map of Ethiopia and Eritrea. I have highlighted a dot, red dot on the border of Ethiopia, between the border of Ethiopia and Eritrea where Badmi is located. So this is the place over which both countries had dispute and they have fought a bloody war. It was really very disturbing for both countries. After both uh, were unwilling to accept the terms for peace, an impasse developed. Uh, there was a situation of no war and no peace uh, until 2004 when Ethiopia accepted the and the right of Eritrea over that bad me. But as de-escalation started in the next year, uh, International Court of Justice in Hague decided that uh, Eritrea has violated some international law. The situation again aggravated and both countries had their armies on borders and they were about to fight again. Uh, during this time, Eritrea also uh, banned United Nations uh, military missions monitoring the situation. Uh, American and uh, English troops were uh, ordered to leave the country immediately. That attracted United Nations sanctions. Thereafter, uh, Eritrea ultimately Eritrea expelled all UN peacekeepers and this was a really a bad situation in a territory where uh, larger involvement of UN, UN peacekeeping force was necessary. Thereafter talks again began and th in third round of talks scheduled for 2006, 2006 somehow these talks were postponed by the mid of that year as Eritrea couldn't attend because they believe that, uh, that until the decision of earlier commission is implemented they won't be sitting there is no benefit in talking and holding talks when decisions are not to be accepted then there was a, a military coordination committee was ha held between Eritrea called for increase of international involvement in the impasse they also uh, demanded the increase of UN military, U UN mission, uh, peacekeeping missions, the number of UN peacekeeping missions. What, what is the in, uh, situation 
there are certain interesting things about uh, it area there is a history of uh, defection like on 8th august 2006 ethiopian brigade general kemal galto defected to it area with 150 troops there were many other people who defected to ethiopia as people share common history common sometime they share common tribes so the history of defections to both side is uh, prevalent uh, ongoing defections with both uh, ethiopia and eritrea sponsoring opposition movements in asmara and the sababa respectively they have been playing proxy games with each other in somalia and have been accusing each other of uh, supporting terrorist organizations despite the fact both are dominantly christian countries and somalia they were uh, Uh, few militants in Somalia. There is Supreme Islamic Council, and then there are Somali land fighters. Federal government in Somalia. Ethiopia supported trans transition of federal government in Somalia. Eritrea kept on supporting Supreme Islamic courts in Somalia. So they, in fact, were fighting either each other there. Situation was uh, in limbo until this guy came. His name is Abe Ahmed. he is the current prime minister of uh, ethiopia is phd doctor he took over in april this year is very young born in 1976 very energetic very enthusiastic and he has a uh, lot of uh, passion to do uh, he uh, has initiated a series of reforms in the country and Uh, there is an interesting thing about him that he is a muslim and uh, is the only african country of christian majority where prime minister is muslim and is heavily agreed upon by all ethiopians so he has initiated domestic reforms uh, security reforms foreign policy reforms easing out relations with eritrea was one of his initiatives when as soon he came to power he announced that he will ease down tensions between both countries and he was eventually able to cool down uh, relations that uh, you know border between both countries has been opened uh, in september uh, after 20 years it is very important achievement uh, that may help both countries to address their domestic issues that both are fighting with poverty and corruption mismanagement bad governance this will help them reduce their military spendings this will help them focus on their domestic uh, development and there is a likely possibility if continuous effort is Uh, put on by the figures shown by ethiopia are not very much uh, bad they are encouraging and the growth rate growth rate is uh, uh, reasonable if uh, proper stability is there if 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 the government tries it can it can deliver it can invest in infrastructure infrastructure it has uh, good relations with the western countries being christian country in the region they have uh, reasonable ties they have good ties with western countries recently he has visited saudi arabia where he has requested the government to release their billionaire and he has also visited egypt so he is doing a lot and he is the hope of uh, ethiopia and you may see a different country in if he is the way he is doing he keep on doing he keeps on doing things there is likely to be a great change in the fate of this country so this was all about uh, ethiopia in a brief way